Namaste, yogis and friends. Welcome to a 45-minute intermediate to advanced yoga for flexibility and strength. Ready to break a sweat and have fun at the same time. Hop on your mat and let's begin. We will begin this practice in cross-legged position or if you have lotus in your practice go ahead and find a lotus pose all right sit nice and tall close your eyes for a moment take a deep long inhale into your nose open mouth exhale letting go of everything that doesn't serve you for this practice all right link your eyes to open inhale reach your arms up to the sky a lot of energy in your fingers exhale side body stretch bring your right hand down or right elbow down and then the opposite arm reaches across your ear line make sure that both of your sitting bones stay on the mat breathing and out inhale reach the arms up Exhale, switch side, hand it to the floor or elbow to the floor. Lengthen out of your waist, breathe into the side body. Relax, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach both of your arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold forward. Mmm, feels so good. If you can place your forehead to the earth, place the forehead down, take a breath in and out. Slowly lift yourself back up and we're gonna switch the cross of your legs or the cross of your lotus. All right. Beautiful, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand or right elbow down. And again, into a juicy side body stretch. Breathe in and out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, take it to the other side. Keeping both of the sitting bones grounded to the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips as you're folding forward. Beautiful, lift the gaze, come up. Doesn't matter if you have cross leg or a lotus pose. Bring the hands close to the hips, round the shoulders, round the upper back, push the earth away and see if you can lift yourself up. And hold here, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly lower down. Good job, beautiful. Let's straddle our legs and just straddle forward, fold. So spread the legs as much as possible, as much as is accessible to you. Hinge forward from the hips, come down to the elbows, or maybe you're just gonna be right here, or maybe you can go all the way down and bring the belly down to the floor and extend the arms to touch your feet. And we will hang here for three cycles of breath. One more breath. Good, slowly making our way back. Very nice. Bring the sole of your left foot into the inner thigh. Sit nice and tall. Right hand comes to the left knee. Inhale, you're gonna sweep your left arm across the ear line, lengthen out of your waist, and see if you can go deeper and deeper and deeper. Maybe even cut your foot or a big toe. And then from here, make sure that you're not dropping the shoulder. I want you to round, open, shine your heart skyward. Deep side body stretch. Inhale. 
the exhale good now drop your shoulder down pivot towards that right leg and just go ahead and fold forward inhale exhale roll up to sit it bring that sole of your left foot into the right elbow crease and we're gonna rack this baby racking racking digging into the outer left hip stay here or maybe hook that knee on top of your shoulder grab the outer edge of the foot place the fingertips down and then extend into compass pose as you're bringing the gaze underneath the right armpit full breath in and out slowly let go release and let's switch so of your right foot into the left inner thigh bring the left hand on top of the right knee inhale sweep your right arm up lengthen out of your waist now you can adjust your foot and find what feels good and then go deeper and deeper maybe you can catch your toe or foot and again begin to spiral your heart all the way skyward breathing and out slowly begin to fold over that left leg as you pivoting and just relaxing here full breath in open mouth let go of something good job roll up to sit it and then let's bring the sole of the right foot into your left elbow crease and we will rack the baby very nice very juicy sensation in the outer right hip stay here or hooking that right elbow on top of the right knee on top of the right shoulder rather grab the outer edge of the right foot right fingers down and then kick 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 extend and then go ahead and pivot to the left bringing the gaze underneath your left armpit full breath in compass pose full breath out slowly release beautiful extend both of leg both of your legs long out in front of you paschimottanasana hook your big toes with your fingers if you need to bend your knees bend your knees here inhale fine lengthen your spine exhale go ahead and fold forward find a breath in and out slowly rise up to sit it cross your ankles plant your hands step back to plank pose lower halfway or all the way chaturanga cobra or upward facing dog inhale shine your heart exhale downward facing dog pedal up through the legs find what feels good in your down dog today Keep reaching the seating bones high towards the sky a lot of length in your spine find stillness breathing and out inhale right heel up to the sky single leg down dog bend your knee and open your hip try to keep both of your shoulders squared to the front let's find a few circles circle that knee circle the hip the knee and we will go ahead and switch the direction good and then open up point your knee to uh, point your toes towards your head and then look over your left shoulder see if you can see your toes and then slowly begin to shift the weight to the left hand as you flipping your dog come across on a wild thing hips up chest up a lot of air in your heart inhale exhale bring the right hand down sweep the right heel up to the sky single leg down dog exhale right knee left elbow begin to extend that leg into falling triangle we're gonna lift that left arm up to the sky open the heart inhale 
exhale left hand down shift the weight to the left hand and now go ahead and lift your right arm up Ooh, what a nice stretch in our IT bend inhale exhale good inhale try to keep your leg as straight as possible as you're sweeping it up to the sky single leg down dog exhale step the foot in between the hands low lunge sink down low from here pyramid pose straighten both of the legs and fold rebend low lunge exhale pyramid pose waking up our hip flexors inhale low lunge exhale pyramid pose stay here for more challenge bring the hands to a prayer position and then flip the hands as you opening the elbows wide if it's too much you just can interlace your elbows take a breath in and out slowly release sprinkle the fingers down into trikonasana triangle pose pivot the left foot parallel to the back edge of your mat and you're gonna extend your left arm up to the sky lengthen out of your waist find energy through the fingers stay here or maybe bring your left arm across your ear line breathing and out <sighs> bend into the right knee and let's transition into extended angle pose stay here or find a bind half bind or a full bind we will move from here into bird of paradise in one breath inhale exhale Bring toes step your left foot forward shift the weight to your left foot and begin to lift up that right foot as we're pointing that right knee all the way skyward align the shoulders over hips engage your core and slowly begin to extend that right leg all the way up good two breaths here rebend that right leg rebend your left knee and then gracefully placing the right foot down to the earth release your bind inhale hug the left knee into your chest as you're rising up exhale figure four left ankle on top of the right knee squat down low hands to heart or you can bring your fingers down to the mat to deepen the sensation we'll stay here for two three breaths if you want to take it a little bit further let's go into flying pigeon ground your hands hook your left toes around your right tricep hinge forward lean the shin bone on both of your biceps pick up the right foot and then slowly extend the right leg when it's enough you're gonna come down good job let's hook the left toe with the left pace finger and come up knee to chest and then extend that leg all the way forward breathing and out dancer pose rebend into your knee grab the inner arch of the foot inhale right arm up exhale kick 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 and kick find your dancer pose stay here or take an advanced option you're gonna bring that foot into your elbow crease and find a mermaid dancer Ooh. lifting through the heart full breath in and out beautiful slowly release fold forward over your standing leg interesting splits big breath in big breath out we bend into the right knee 
place your left toes down to the earth, ground your hands. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Drop down to your elbows. One-legged dolphin pose. Stay here or begin to hop into your pincha marasana. Forearm stand. You can pause the video, maybe move the mat to the wall. One more breath. Now from pincha marasana, slowly, gracefully make your way into forearm plank. And we will shift the way to the right forearm and come into forearm side plank. <sighs> Stay here, or you're gonna kick your left heel to your butt, grab your ankle, and find a dancer pose here. Hold three, two, one. Slowly release, back to forearm plank, rise up to plank, lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Woo! Full breath in. Open mouth. Let it out. <sighs> Left heel up high. Single leg down dog. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Keep the shoulders squared. And let's find big hip circles here. Switch your direction. Open the hip. Reach the toes towards your head and gaze over your right shoulder. See if you can find your toes with your eyes. Now begin to shift the weight to the right arm as you gracefully flipping your dog, lifting your hips up, 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 just up, up, up. Beautiful, glorious in breath, glorious out breath. Nice, lift him down, inhale, sweep the left heel up to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Begin to extend the leg into a falling triangle. Right arm comes up, open the body, breathe in and out. Right hand down, shift the weight to the right arm. And then we're gonna lift the left arm up. Breathe in and out. Left hand down, try to keep your left leg straight. Use your lower core to lift it up into single leg down dog. And exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Beautiful, low lunge. And we're gonna find here a little movement through pyramid pose and low lunge. Pyramid pose, sinking low, low lunge. Pyramid pose, back to low lunge. Last one, pyramid, low lunge. And now we're gonna pause in pyramid pose finding a lot of length through your spine. And if you're ready for that extra challenge, let's find a reverse prayer, bringing the hands in between the shoulder blades, opening the elbows wide, using our core to find the balance, breathing and out. Good, slowly release. Sprinkle the left fingers inside your left foot. Adjust the right foot, pivot to the outer edge of the back of your mat. And we're gonna lift up into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Find length, tuck your tailbone, tighten your core, and maybe extend that arm across your ear line. Breathe into your sensations, inhale. Exhale, begin to bend into the left knee, coming into extended angle pose. Press through the outer edge of the right foot and squeeze both of the heels to the midline. Breathe in and out. 
Now maybe go ahead and find a bind or try to work towards bind. Rotating that right shoulder up and back. Slowly shifting the gaze to your left toes as you're gracefully stepping the right foot to the front of your mat. Shift the weight to the right foot and begin to lift that left toes and foot up. Stacking the shoulders over hips, finding the breath and extending the left leg into bird of paradise. Two breaths. Beautiful, slowly placing the left toes back down. Good, let go of your bind. And as you're coming up, you're gonna hug the right knee into the chest. And from here, figure four, sinking down low. Ooh, this hip is much tighter for me. Okay, finding a little movement, finding what feels good. If you need to go deeper, you're gonna bring the fingers down to the earth. And when you feel ready, and you want to take one step further into a flying pigeon, ground both of your hands, hook your right toes around your left tricep, lean forward, pick up that left foot, and then extend that leg. When it's enough, place it back down. Let's grab the left, the right big toe with the right pace finger. Use the core to lift up knee to chest and then extend that leg all the way forward. Good. And dripping sweat. And I love it. Take a breath in and out. Bend into the knee. Bring the leg behind you as you're bringing your head, hand into the inner arch of the foot, dancer pose. Inhale, lift arm up. Exhale, kick into condenser. I'm losing my balance. Good. Want to move deeper? Mermaid dancer. Bring that right foot into the right elbow crease. And then kick up, 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 up. Full breath in and out. Slowly letting go as we're folding forward into standing splits. Woo! Standing leg is on fire. Good, halfway lengthen. Gracefully place the right toes to the back of your mat. Inhale, sweep your left heel up high. Single leg down dog. Axel drop down to your elbows. And here, another option to play with your Pinch Amarasana, forearm stand, hinge forward. Find a hop or two, three or ten, as many as you need. I will take it from here into Scorpion. And slowly make your way into forearm plank. Good job. Now let's shift the weight to your left forearm, forearm side plank, and then extra challenge, kick the right heel to your butt, and we will take here variation of denser forearm plank. Inhale, exhale, release, back to forearm plank, press the earth away, plank pose. Lower chaturanga. <sighs> Upward facing and downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out. More deep breath in and out. 
Inhale, right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands, low lunge. Drop your left knee down, half split, send the hips to the back, flex the right toes towards your face. Find a lot of length, wiggle side to side. Stay here or move deeper, sliding that right heel forward, sinking into Hanumanasana, full split. Monkey pose. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge forward, fold. Ah, chill out a little bit. Catch up with the breath. Now let's bring the shoulders over hips, ground the hands to the earth and then drop the case back behind you, find a little back bend. Good, make your way into pigeon pose. Bend into the right knee, shift the weight to the right and then begin to move your hips side to side till you find a nice squared hips legs into the right foot always think on protecting your joints stay here or come down to your forearms if you need to prop here you know your body this is an intermediate adva advanced class so make sure you have your yoga blocks and you know how to Prop yourself. Take a breath in. And out. You can stay here and pigeon just chill out a little bit or lift up, moving into mermaid pose. Kicking the left heel to the glute. Let's first find a big asana to stretch her quad here. So bringing that heel outside of your left glute. See how this feel. Maybe you can even hook underneath your armpit. Maybe you can even bring it a little bit more deeper. When it's enough, bring the foot to the elbow. And we will find here a full mermaid pose. Lift through the heart. And if you want to take this a little deeper, into a full kink pigeon. So you're gonna bring your right um, thumb to the inner arch of the left foot and then work on the rotation of the shoulder. So your palm gonna face up like you're serving something and then grabbing that outer edge of the left foot and then lifting the elbow up, 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 rotating the shoulder till you can for it here or maybe right arm gonna come and join you we will find breaths here if you go ahead and drop the gaze back behind you bring the toes to your forehead and exhale slowly let this go beautiful let's bring that left leg all the way around into cow face pose stacking the knees one on top of each other and cow face arms right arm underneath your left interlace the elbows palms to touch lift the elbows up inhale and as you exhale fold forward breathing and out release ground your hand Sp scoop a little bit backward if you don't have a lot of room in front of the mat i will move from here into a headstand 
So hands in front of you. I'm gonna place the crown of my head down, tuck the toes under, lift the sitting bones, and then slowly try to bring the knees into the chest, then lift up into eagle variation. If you still don't have this in the practice, do any headstand that you can. Then you're gonna unwrap into a full expression of headstand. Slowly find a pike position, and then hop back, find a chaturanga. Upper is facing dog, inhale, and then downward facing dog. Exhale, breathe in, and out. Inhale, lift heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands, drop your right knee down. Half splits. Inhale, send the hips back, flex your left toes. Navel to spine, reach the arms forward. Long, long spine. Ready to move deeper, sliding that left heel forward and coming into full Hanuman. Wiggling side to side. And exhale, hinge forward and just fold and chill out. One more breath. Gaze up. Bring yourself up. Shoulders over hips, ground your hands. Let's try to find a little back bend as you're dropping the head and your gaze backward. Lifting through the heart. Stretching the throat. Chin back to center. Good, pigeon pose. Bending the right knee. And shifting the weight to the right. I said bending the right knee, bend your left knee. You know what knee you need to bend. <laughs> and then a little bit wiggle, side to side. Level your And when you're ready, we're just gonna melt down into your sleeping. And relax. Stay here for another minute or so. Let's practice our mermaid. To your first, let's take a bit stretch our quad. We're gonna heal as close as we can. And then hold here. Notice which side is more open, which side is more tighter. Hook is underneath the armpit. Maybe stay here. And now let's move into mermaid. We're gonna slide the foot into elbow crease left arm comes up connect your fingers lift your heart lift the gaze and find a few breaths if you feel comfortable here you know, want to try king pigeon let go is it up and then all the way up, 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 skyward. Feel the rotation of your sho shoulder girdle. See how it feels. Do you have your balance? Use your core. Then maybe left arm comes up and we're gonna catch the foot with both hands. Find a few breaths. And if you want to go deeper, you're gonna drop your gaze, drop the head back behind you to bring the toes to your crown. Mm -hmm. 
slowly lift up, gracefully letting go. Don't just drop it, slowly, slowly use your back muscles to slowly release it out. Good. Moving into cow face pose, sweep that right leg around, stack your knees one on top of each other. If it doesn't happen, place a block underneath your sitting bones. Find a little bit elevation if needed. When you feel grounded, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, left arm underneath your right, Gamukhasana arms. Lift the elbows up, inhale. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Try to bring the elbows down if possible. Keeping a bit of the sitting bones on your mat. Find your breath. Slowly lift the gaze. Let's rise back up. And then there is another chance to move into uh, eagle headstand. So scoop backward if you need a little bit room in front of you. Place the hands down. Crown of your head comes down. Tuck both of your toes under to lift the sitting bones. And then hinge forward. Use your core to lift the knees to your chest. And then lift, 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 lift up till you're going to find your eagle legs. And then we're going to extend into a full expression of headstand. Find a pike position. Ooh. And then have back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And out. Bring the gaze forward, walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat, bend your knees and have a seat. Legs extend, the legs forward, we're going to take one more pass on the hair. Just go ahead and find what feels good for you. I'm not going to give you here any cues, just pull down for five breaths and relax. Last breath. Raise up to sit it. Scoop yourself forward and come all the way down onto your back. A little bit sway side to side. Take a breath in. And now it's fun, a happy baby. From here, maybe extend one leg and tap your toes down to the floor. Maybe the other one. And then right, and then lift, and then maybe both coming into a nice straddle. Good, cross your left knee on top of the right, fine eagle legs. Place the toes down, then scoop your hips to the left as you're dropping both of your arms and gaze over your left shoulder. If you want to go a little bit, lift your hand. Give me help. And twist, switch. Right knee on top of your lift, finding eagle legs, place the toes down, scoop the hips to the right, drop the knees to the lift. Cactus your arms. See how it feels first. And if you feel like there is more room to go, you want to find a little bit more zip, left hand pushing the knees down. Good. 
One more breath. And then slowly unwrap. Hug both of your knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug, a nice squeeze. Beautiful, and we're just gonna make our way into Shavasana. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Just relax. Relax your toes, feet, ankles, knees, the entire legs, hips, belly, shoulders, spine, arms, neck, jaw, all those tiny muscles in your face. And just listen to the rhythm of your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Finding a moment of complete stillness. If you're willing to stay here a little bit longer, please do so. Otherwise, begin to wiggle your toes, your fingers, reach the arms overhead. Nice full body stretch. Hug the knees to the chest. Let's roll onto the right side, finding the fetal position. And then pushing the earth away, coming up into a comfortable seat, plugging the hands to the heart, keeping the eyes closed, filling up with gratitude for another beautiful day, for each movement and breath, for you being alive. Plug the hands to your third eye, center of your intuition. Thank you so much, yogis, for tuning in today. Thank you so much for breaking a sweat with me. Link your eyes to open from my heart to yours. I wish you beautiful, beautiful the rest of your day where you are in the world. And if you did enjoy the practice today, please thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And that's it. I will see you very soon. Namaste.